first let's just make sure we understand the concept of spot rates so spot rate is essentially the rate in effect today for a given time period when we talk about a three month spot rate of say three month spot rate let's say is ten percent this means that if you lock in your money today for three years then the effective annual rate that you are getting is 10 percent and very often this rate is stated in terms of a bond equivalent yield which means that if you put in hundred dollars today then you are not allowed to take this money out not allowed to make any withdrawals or additions for three years and then after three years you have effectively made a return or, or you have made a bond equivalent yield return of 10 percent so if we have three years that means that we have six periods over here so zero one two three four five and six so the way we can look at this is a uh, three month spot rate of 10 percent means that each six month yield is five percent so effectively your hundred dollars over three years which is equal to six periods should become hundred into one point oh five to the power of six this five percent is coming from the five percent yield over a six month period which is half the annualized spot rate and six because we have six periods so this is equal to 134 another way of putting this is that if you have 134 dollars after three years or at year three the appropriate present value at time zero would be 134 divided by 1.05 to the power of six now this is a three month spot rate what does a 18 month spot rate mean let's say that the 18 month spot rate is equal to nine percent then this again means that if you lock in your money for 18 months so 0 6 12 18 so three periods then you are getting a bond equivalent yield of nine percent bond equivalent yield of nine percent means that over every six month period you are getting 4.5 percent in other words if you invest 100 over here at the end of three six month periods you should have a hundred into 1.045 to the power of three and this much money discounted back should be discounted at a six monthly rate of 4.5 percent giving you 100 at the 100 at time zero so this hopefully uh, will remind you about uh, what spot rates mean. Now let's talk about bootstrapping. The basic idea with bootstrapping is that it allows you to convert the yield curve to a spot rate curve. In other words, or actually in most popular press, you will be given the yield curve and there will be times when you need to derive the spot rate curve from the yield curve so let us say that you are given this yield curve and as a quick refresher what do you see with the yield curve on the x-axis you have different maturities on the y-axis you have the yield to maturity which is stated in terms of a bond equivalent yield and what we see here is bond one which is a six month bond with a YTM of 10%. So let's say the maturity is six months and here the YTM is, uh, is 10%. And again, this YTM is stated as a bond equivalent yield. And then you have a 12 month bond, which is let's say bond two. This has a YTM of 12%. So let's say we have 12 up here. So this was bond one, this is bond two, 12 month maturity with a YTM of 12. And then bond three is a 18 month bond with a YTM of 
14 uh, percent so this is a very simplistic yield curve an important point to note here is that with the six month bond which is bond one we don't have any coupons so here you are locking your money in for six months and getting a yield of 10 percent which means that for the six month bond the YTM is the same as the six month spot rate because there are no cash flows in between but for the for bond 2 which is a 12 month bond let's assume that this bond is at par or issued at par so for our 12 month bond the YTM is 12 there is a coupon rate of of 12 percent which means that this bond makes a coupon payment after six months and then another coupon payment after 12 months and the overall yield to maturity which considers the intermediate cash flow or the coupon is 12 percent the spot rate isn't necessarily 12 percent so in this exercise we are going to try and figure out the 12 month spot rate similarly this 14 percent over here is a yield for holding the 18 month bond to maturity and here again when we hold the 18 month bond to maturity we are going to get uh, coupon payments in between so for the 18 month bond the cash flow will look something like this the since we are assuming it's at par the investment is let's say 100 and then this is the 6 month 12 month 18 month period this is a 14 percent bond coupons are made every six months that means that after six months you'll get a coupon payment of seven then you get seven again and at the end you will get 107 100 par plus seven coupon and the ytm of 14 percent means that in terms of bond equivalent yield if you invest 100 today get seven and then seven again and then 107 at the end your yield to maturity is 14 percent this does not mean that your 18 month spot rate is 14 percent the purpose of bootstrapping is to derive what the spot rates will be given this yield curve so let's let's do that exercise again for your benefit i have repeated the yield curve information over here and the first thing that we will do is derive the let's do it over here so let's derive the one year spot rate and notice that we will be working in terms of bond equivalent yield so we'll be working in terms of six month buckets so take this bond two which is the 12 month bond what's the cash flow on bond two at time zero since this is a par value bond we invest a hundred and then the cash flow will be 6 and then 106 why because the coupon rate is 12 percent so that means every six months we get six at the end of 12 months we get six coupon plus 100 which is the par value that we get back now what is the most precise way of coming up with the value of this bond the present value or the value of the bond we said is 100 that is going to be equal to 6 which is the first cash flow discounted at the 6 month spot rate so what is the 6 month spot rate if you recall from the last slide since there are no coupon payments the the YTM is the same as the as the 6 month spot rate so the six month spot rate is 10 percent that means when we look at a six month bucket we can use five percent so we have six divided by 1.05 and then the next payment is 106 so then we have 106 divided by one plus x squared now this x represents the rate for a six month period since we have two six month periods 
we say 1 plus x squared. This 2 means that we have 2 6 month periods. Now if you solve for x, you will get x equal to 12 point actually you will get x is equal to 0 0.0603 so this is our six month rate which means that a one year spot rate is equal to this multiplied by 2 which is 12.06 percent it's 0 0.01206 which is in percentage terms 12.06 so notice that our spot rate is a little bit higher than our one year YTM which is what we will expect when interest rates are going up as they are in this example. Now let's look at the 18 month spot. So what's happening with our, with our 18 month bond? So here with our 18 month bond which is bond 3 the YTM is 14. Assume again that this bond is issued at a par value of 100. So here again the investment is 100 and the cash flow now will be 7, 7, 107. So remember these are 6 month periods. So this is the 6 month, 12 month, 18 month. Now how do we, how do we get the 18 month spot rate? We already know the 6 month spot rate and the 12 month spot rate. So each cash flow has to be discounted at an appropriate spot rate to get the present value of the bond which is 100. So we can say that 100 is equal to 7 divided by 1.05 that is that is the 6 month version of the of the 6 month spot rate. Remember the 6 month spot rate is 10% which means and that 10 percent is an annualized number so for six months we will use five percent plus the second seven this we now discount at at this rate so here we will say 1.0603 squared because we have two six month periods and then finally the 107 needs to be discounted at 1 plus x cubed. So now this x represents the uh, this x once we calculate this x and double it we will get the 18 month spot rate. So we are saying that for 107 what is the 6 monthly rate that we will that we should use to discount the final 107. If you solve for this, you will get x equal to 0 0.07097. So this represents a 6 monthly rate for money that is locked for 18 months. And to get the, to get the spot rate, we simply, the 18 month spot rate, we simply multiply this by 2 which will which will give us 14.19 percent so in decimal terms it will be 0 0.1419 but when we convert that into percentage we will have 14.19 percent so that essentially gives us our 18 month spot rate and what we have done in simple terms is the follows is the following we started out with a certain yield curve where we had maturities on the x-axis and yield on the y-axis and from that we have derived the spot rate curve. So the spot rate curve notice is just a little bit above the yield curve and this is what we expect when the yields are going up as maturity goes up if the yield goes up and you need to try this the the spot rates will be slightly higher than the yields this is not well explained in most uh, study notes but if you notice if you carefully look at the curriculum towards the end of the curriculum you will find this picture that shows that when the yield is going up 
then the spot rates will be will be going up to and going up slightly more than the yield as you saw in this example So now that we've talked about spot rates, let's look at how we use the concept of spot rates to, to value a bond. So let's say you have a bond which promises, let's say we have a two-year bond and this bond promises a cash flow of 10, 10, 10 and uh, 110. So let's say that these are um, so let's say that these are six month periods so this is six months 12 months 18 months and 24 and let's say we have the spot rates for each one of these periods the most appropriate way to value a bond using spot rates is to discount each cash flow at the appropriate spot rate so let's say that we are given a 6 month spot rate, 12 month, 18 month and 24 month spot rate and let's say that the 6 month spot rate is 12%, the 12 month let's say is 14%, 18 month is 15% and 24 month is 16%. So I'm just making up these numbers. So given these spot rates how should you value the bond the way we do this is we discount each cash flow at the appropriate spot rate so the value of the bond should be equal to 10 divided by the six month spot rate so one plus now notice that the six month spot rate is 12 percent that means on a six monthly basis we should use six percent so for a six month period, one six month period, we should use 6%. So one plus 0 0.06. And then the next one will be 10 divided by the one year spot rate. So one year spot rate is 14%. That means that for a six monthly period, we should use 7%. So we have 1.07. And since they are two six month periods, this should be squared plus 10 divided by 1 point and now we need to look at the 18 month spot rate which is 15 percent that means six month period is 7.5 percent so 1.075 cubed because we have three payments and then finally 110 divided by one point and this is 16 percent so for eight months for six months we have eight percent so 1.08 to the power of four because we now have four six month periods so the most precise way of valuing this bond is to come up with the present value of all the future cash flows and using the specific spot rate to to come up with the present value so i'm not going to do this calculation right now the concept is what matters so, so do these calculations and that should give you the value of a bond using spot rates.